uh, Shalom. I hope everyone's having a good um, week. And I hope your family's safe. And I hope you're in uh, high spirits. And I hope everyone's health is uh, is secure. I wanted to uh, add my little two cents to this uh, this uh, reoccurring uh, conversation that I keep coming across as an adult male. Um, men do not make better women, and women do not make better men. Okay. And the reason for this is um, I hear content creators loosely um, using these titles for opposite sexes. Um, I want to start with uh, the women that are failing in their femininity. And um, I want to um, say that men are not failed versions of femininity. And I mean that to say that a, uh, a woman that is failing in her femininity is described as, her, her proper description is described as toxic, okay? As a failed feminine woman, she is either toxic or she is, um, she's homosexual. When we, as the people, describe the sisters as masculine, it says to me, and it kind of comes across to these women, that they have achieved being masculine okay if I tell a homosexual woman that you are masculine right I don't know what makes her masculine all of a sudden is it that she can dribble a ball or that she wears pants or that she uh, prefers to be with women okay or um, the term energy keeps popping up in these conversations, being a man is not just energy and the energy, the masculine energy is not what makes us men. It's not just what makes us men. So, and then I, and I want to say women can never be men. Okay. If you tell a, if you tell a woman that she's being masculine, what you're telling her is she has achieved masculinity. OK, so and what that does is that enables her to explore in delusion. OK, that's that's my personal opinion. I've given us a little bit of thought and I uh, and I believe that um, it's wrong to say that a man that is failing in his masculinity is is now feminine. We can call him delusional. We can even call him toxic. <laughs> but what we will definitely call him is a failure. And I think it's disrespectful to describe a man as as being feminine when he's just a fa he just, he just, he he just failed in his masculinity. Okay. Um, I got this script. On the, uh, give me just a minute. Let this let this vehicle go past. Described it. I decided to take a walk. Give me a minute. Okay. This is Romans one and twenty six. Okay, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creator more than the Crete, uh, uh, Salakia, 
and served the creature more than the creator, the creator who was blessed forever. Amen. Okay. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Okay. So, I'm tired of women being described as masculine because a woman calling herself masculine doesn't even achieve, she doesn't even achieve being a man. Men, we love sharing with our families. Men bring order as well to the family. Women who we are mistakenly and ignorantly calling masculine do not bring order. Okay? They do not bring order. I live around a, a lot of toxic, failed, feminine women. Okay? And what I mean by failed feminine, I'm just saying failed women. I live around a lot of toxic, failed women. They're single mothers. They're aggressive with the children. They like to threaten the children just to get cooperation. They'll threaten the children. Masculine masculinity or men do not gain control with threats. Okay? Weak, weakness must threat. Okay? Strength does not have to threat. Okay? I, I believe that's the energy that keeps coming up in these conversation, conversations that I'm hearing, especially from content creators. As a man, we can give a look. Our expression can change. Our face can tighten up. Or it can remain the same and we can just cut our eyes a certain way. And I guess that's the energy and we can we can get we can get we can gain order again, okay? But women being told that they are masculine do not possess order. Okay? I'm a military veteran, and when I see um, a woman that is um, that has failed in her feminine in her femininity, okay, she is not one of the guys. Okay, she's not. I don't care if she, I don't care if she wants to chest bump another man or a man because uh, her favorite team just won the Super Bowl or something. I don't care if she's over there sitting with her legs open and her elbows on her damn knees. I don't care if her, I don't care if she's in the dress code of men. That's not what makes her a man. Just like a homosexual does not pull off being a woman. And natural women will argue that these homosexual men are not women. And then they start picking apart, where the homosexuals start uh, picking apart, well, you're not, uh, um, you, ha you, you bleeding once a month don't make you a woman, and they start to attack the natural use of a woman, okay? So I understand that there's talking points and there's topics and subjects and, um, you know, edifications and things like that. Me personally, I would rather correct the use of the word masculine when we're talking about women who have failed in their femininity because they are not, they have not achieved being a man. Okay, these women, we're, now, because what we're saying is 
they're men now. They're men now. They have achieved being a man. And when I see these women who have failed in their feminine nature, they do not conduct themselves like a man. She can go to AutoZone and she can't even lift up her own battery to take back to her vehicle. She has to have one of the men behind the counter carry her battery to the car. She breaks down. She's not mechanically inclined. She has to call her uncle or her father or one of her male cousins to come and get her. I believe that the homosexual women that have failed in their femininity and now they're exploring in delusion, they start to become gay. So now, so first it starts off as a woman who has failed in her femininity. And if she, if she travels far enough in her delusion, she'll wound up preferring women. I believe that's how homosexual women, one of the ways they become homosexuals is because they failed in their femininity and they never achieve masculinity after that. They're not about to fail in their femininity and now all of a sudden they've achieved being masculine. We're, we're getting that part wrong, all right? Men can, get, men can have boys and girls and women are women because they do not have both chromosomes, last time I checked. So how, do, how is a woman described as masculine when she doesn't even possess both chromosomes? Okay. That's, that's, that's my point. What's good, Kane? How you doing? So that's, so that's, so that's my point. I wanted to touch on this briefly and um, feel free to leave comments down below. Feel free to, um, you know, expound on the points that I'm discussing. I'm just personally tired and over the title of calling women masculine. I know Kevin Samuel said, you know, telling women to put their dicks away when they would come off as if they weren't feminine. But when we sit back and analyze those women who are improperly described as masculine, those women would claim that the only reason a man is the head of a household or a leader is because of his income. So if we really start to, you know, analyze the psychology of what makes these women think they're men is they point out the money while I, I make she makes more money than a man. So he's he's not a leader if he doesn't make more money. Well, that's not what makes us men is that we make more money or make less money or that's not that's not it. So I believe that. You, we enable these females into exploring and delusion and living in delusion when we call them masculine because at that point they've achieved it. I watched this one talking panel where there was a homosexual so-called black man on there and the black and the, and the so-called black woman told him that he's he's not he's not a woman and then there was a woman sitting on the panel as well and she referred to him as a woman and he kind of had this like thrill slick look on his face as if he achieved being a woman and he was he had this look on his face towards the woman that said he wasn't a woman he he, he had this look towards her like that's your opinion you know what I'm saying? So when you tell a woman that she's masculine and then there's a man, there's a different man that says she's not masculine. She's not a man. She's going to she's going to believe she already achieved being masculine because she's already being called masculine. And then she's going to believe that who whoever thinks she's not the man now 
is is it's just a matter of a difference of opinion. Well, that's your opinion if you think she's not a man. Or that's your opinion if you think he's not a woman. You see what I'm saying? So let's not forget that women were born to be feminine and men were born to be masculine. Okay. Um, there's failed, there's men who failed in their masculinity and then there's women who failed in their femininity. But I don't like that we're calling failed men women and failed women men. A failed, a, a woman that failed in her femininity is not a man now. We can call her toxic. Okay, we can call her Rasputia. Okay, we can call a man uh, Tyler Perry. You know what I'm saying? We can call him a homosexual or we can call him um, toxic or something. But toxicity within femininity doesn't make her a woman. It makes her chaotic. And toxicity in masculinity doesn't make him a man. It makes him less than a man because he's toxic. Let's get this straight. Okay, we're talking about the cream of the crop when we start talking about the nature of men and the nature of men and the nature of the cream of the crop doesn't have these traits of being toxic. Okay, the natural use of masculinity and the natural use of femininity doesn't isn't described as being toxic or homosexual or delusional. Okay, so I, I, um, I just wanted to put this out there and hopefully what I'm saying uh, makes sense to someone, but it makes sense to me because I'm sick and tired of hearing how we're describing women as masculine as if they've achieved masculinity. And the only thing I'm hearing from these homosexual women or these toxic women, or these failed feminine women, is that their money makes them a man. Or they had to, uh, or, you know, because they have the children and they stuck with the children or they can't quit when they want to as being a woman and they believe that men quit in being what they were supposed to do as a father or as a husband, but they're not a husband. And the women rather do other things, but besides be with the man, those are kind of other areas to discuss. But I'm just tired of hearing that. I'm tired of hearing the improper labeling of failed feminine women and failed masculine masculinity. Okay. A failed man is not a woman and a failed woman is not a man okay failed femininity is not a man and failed masculinity is not a woman and the same thing goes for a man if he's failing as is he if he's failing in being a man then he's and, and you allow him to travel too far in his delusion then he's going to end up being homosexual whether or not they were abused as a child and all that stuff that has nothing to do with it because People are choosing to be gay. And um, the Most High doesn't make mistakes, so he's not making, he's not uh, creating uh, homosexual spirits. Especially now, we're talking about, I'm talking about the so called black, so called black woman, black man, Latino woman, Latino man, Native American man, Native American woman. I'm not talking about so called whites because we already know what their, what their problem is. Okay. They were born, they were born wicked. Okay. So I just wanted to say that. Uh, I didn't want to ramble on too long. Got to get in here and eat some dinner. But uh, leave your comments down below. And uh, hope you're having a good week. Hope you and your family are safe and in high spirits. And I hope your health is secure. And, uh, you know, shalom.